Google is hoping to rule the world with its new suite of hardware devices. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com. There was, of course, the Pixel phone and recently the brand new Pixel 2. There's also Google Wi-Fi, Google Home, and a host of other devices. But the newest one on the block right now is what I've got right here. This is the brand new Google Pixel Book, and it's Google's first foray into the laptop and tablet game. The Google Pixel Book is a versatile laptop. It looks sleek and modern, if a little boxy with its squared corners and edges, but it's impossibly light and quite thin at just 10.3 millimeters. On the inside, there's of course a keyboard and a trackpad. The screen is a good size 12.3 inches. Now strangely though, it does have a pretty wide bezel around the edge, and in my opinion, more of that space could have been used for the screen. But it is clear, bright, and easy to read. When you unbox the Pixel Book, you'll see just the computer, the power cord, a plug, and instructions. It charges via USB-C, and the same cable can charge your Pixel phone. If you've ordered one, the Pixel Book pen comes separately. You can use the Pixel Book in a number of ways thanks to its 360 degree hinge. You can, of course, use it in laptop mode. You can also bend it all the way back around and use it in something called entertainment mode so you can watch videos. There's also tablet mode. And if you're so inclined and you want to prop it up on something, maybe you're doing a recipe, you can use it in what I've kind of called A-frame mode so you can see what's going on from every angle. Google says the battery on the Pixel Book 2 is good enough to get you through an entire workday and that you can get two hours of use on just a 15 minute charge. Now that's going to take some testing for me to prove, so I'm going to reserve judgment on that for now, but those are the specs. The Pixel Book comes with the whole suite of Google apps, from Gmail to Docs, Chrome and Sheets, plus a lot more. You can also get the option of the Pixel Book Pen, which sells for about 129 bucks. Now while the pen is kind of fat and a little bit stout, it's extraordinarily light. It's ideal for taking notes or drawing, but it's got some other cool features too. Just press and hold the pen's button, then circle images or text right on your Pixel Book. It's a fast, easy way to get answers and help with tasks and no typing. Using the Pixel Book pen feels natural, a lot like pen on paper. It's got pressure sensitivity, tilt support, and virtually no lag. It's powered by a replaceable Quad A battery, which is just slightly smaller than a AAA. The Google Assistant is a huge part of this laptop, so much so that it's got its own quick touch button. And just by hitting it, you can see it'll pop up the Google Assistant where you can ask for help getting what's on your schedule for the day, if you've got questions you need answered, if you want to set a productivity timer, any number of things, the Pixel Book can help you do it just with the touch of a button. Like other laptop and phone combos, you can use your Pixel phone to hook up instant tethering to your Pixel Book. This means you can piggyback your phone's Wi-Fi when you're in a spot that has none. The basic model Google Pixel Book has 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigs of memory and sells for about $1,299. The price does go up from there depending on the memory options that you choose, so that's one thing to be aware of. Now I'm going to be spending a lot of time with this device and the pen that goes along with it over the next couple of weeks ahead of a full and in-depth review. So if you have questions I can answer for you before that goes live, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram at AaronLYYC or post something here in comments down below and I'll do my best to get some answers before that full review is done. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to head over to TechGadgetsCanada.com in the meantime for all the latest tech and gadget news and more Google product reviews. And you can get 50... Seriously?